Please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, BHS. I'm Trace Mandeville. And I'm Eden Savoy. And, and welcome, welcome to Bash, Bash TV. TV. Love the pink out. <sighs> Me too. I think I have the same shirt as you. Wow, I'll have to wear it sometime. Today is Monday, November 1st, making today the official 48th day of school and day two of the cycle. The lunch menu for today will be TNG burger, peas, mandarin oranges, and milk. The breakfast menu for tomorrow will be cocoa puffs bar, strawberry banana applesauce, assorted juice, and milk. Seniors, if you have not yet submitted your senior picture to the yearbook, please do so as soon as possible. You must send in your photo by this Friday, November 5th, to be included in the senior section of the yearbook. Report cards will be distributed in homeroom on Thursday, November 4th. Picture retakes are tomorrow. Students will be called to the auditorium by homeroom over the intercom. Students who need a retake or who did not get a photo earlier in the year should report to the auditorium when your homeroom is called. Students who have registered to take the SAT this Saturday are reminded to report to the high school cafeteria by 7.40 a.m. Please be sure to bring your registration ticket, an acceptable photo ID, an approved calculator, and number two pencils. SAT testing dates are scheduled for December 4th with the registration deadline of November 4th. Let's hear from Tyrone with sports. Thanks, Trace and Eden. I'm Tyrone. Unfortunately, I didn't wear pink today. Regardless, uh, if you didn't know, my favorite color is actually pink, so, yeah. Well, anyway, let's take a look at the scores from Thursday and the sports for tonight. On Thursday, in girls volleyball, <coughs> C.C. Eisenberg had a career game to lift Berwick past Dallas winning three out of the four sets. She recorded 35 kills and 18 digs. Morgan Neville had 14 assists, 22 service points, and six aces. Camille Pintridge added 21 digs, 10 service points, and six aces. Cassidy Evans contributed 10 digs. The team will now complete for another district championship. At the Cross Country District 2 class meet, Berwick finished 8th amongst 12 other schools. Maddox Schultz finished at Team Best, making 15th place. Ben Caro placed 626. Dante Tripp placed 44th. Gavin Davis placed 46th. And Michael Evans placed 49th. For tonight's sports, JV football is away with wilkes Bear area at 4 p.m. with a dismissal time of 1.45 p.m. Now over to Brendan with FYI to see what in the world could be happening in this Berwick High School. Thanks, Tyrone. I'm Brennan. Let's get started with FYI. Joel has begun. They will be meeting every Tuesday after school from 2.40 to 3 p.m. in room 31. They will also be meeting every Wednesday morning in room 31 from 7.15 to 7.30 a.m. If you are interested in joining or have any questions or concerns or would like to join the Google Classroom, please see Mrs. Kerbacher, room 31. The Rurig Elks Lodge is looking for student volunteers to help set up and clean up for two upcoming events. Interested students should see Mrs. Curry in the guidance office. Sunday, November 7th at 12 p.m. is a district dinner. Thursday, November 11th at 4.30 p.m. 
is the Veterans Day dinner. The homecoming ceremony and dance will take place on Friday, November 12th, beginning, beginning at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Tickets for the dance are on sale in the guidance office for $10 and 15 at the door. Homecoming ceremony is $2 at the door. Guest passes must be submitted to Mr. Bennett in the front office for any student who does not attend Berwick High School. All guest passes must be submitted for approval by Wednesday, November 10th. Well, that's it for today's episode. To, to conclude, we'll leave you with today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Denny, <coughs> Alex Hacker. Alex Hacker. <laughs>